Hello everyone, I'm Kreshi from Hox Games and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import iStep into the HD RP render pipeline. So let's get started. For that we do create a new project. We do select the HDRP render pipeline core. We set up a project name. I will call it iStep tutorial HDRP. Select your location where you want to save it. I'm going to go with this location down here and let's create the project. This could take a while, so it's time to get a coffee. All the import finished, so did my coffee. And let's continue. So I'm going to close this. This is the default project from HDRP. So to import iStep, you would go to Window, Package Manager, change this to My Assets, and type here iStep. However, since this video has been recorded before iStep has been released, this is not going to work. For you it is going to work, but not for me right now. So I have to go to Import Package and choose Custom Package and select the iStep package. So let's import. So we imported now all the core uh, scripts as well as some other packages from iStep and these other packages are the, for the built-in render pipeline at demo scene, for the HDRP render pipeline at demo scene and for the, for the URP at demo scene. And in this case, in this tutorial, we are going to import the HDRP demo scene. So we double click this package and we simply do import. So this is also going to take some time. So, so after the import has been finished, you are going to get this warning. Uh, this is because of the dependencies and the input system uh, of the start assets uh, package where some part of it, a subset of it, is included in this demo scene, or let's call it demo package, where all the content is inside. So, like with the default uh, third-person controller from the starter assets, also here we have to restart. So let's press yes for all the dependencies to be set up correctly. So Unity is restarting right now. So it finished. So let's go to Hoax Games. I step demo HDRP and just double click the scene. Now the next message is popping up. We do have to import Text Mesh Pro. And if we press play right now, in this version of Unity that I'm using, that you see here, we are experiencing some issues with text. Uh, to get rid of that, we just go out of play mode and go again into the play mode and this issue should be gone. So here we are. Our character can walk. I step already does what it should and that's it for this tutorial thank you for listening and i hope you enjoyed it and until next time